For your latest hit music, all hits, current affairs, and Bollywood connection, community announcement, live entertainment, motivational speaker, and religious program, please tune in to Bula Masti radio station. To advertise your business, please contact Aisha at 604-427-0291. Your one and only Bula Masti radio station. You're tuned into Radio Bulamasti.com and also Shana TV.com. I am your host, Aisha, and yes, you can listen to this radio station 24 hours a day anywhere in the world. Just tune into www.radiobulamasti.com or watch uh, our TV channel now online, Shana TV.com. Also, our sister company, GKMmedia.com, that brings to you. Um, Updates from every corner of the world and that channel has programs in Punjabi and Hindi. Here on Shana TV and Radio Bulamasti, we bring to you programs in Hindi and in English. So with me, I have today Mr. Rajesh Jayaprakash and he is in the NDP uh, party in the Surrey Cloverdale riding and he has been in Canada and U.S. Uh, for over two decades. Uh, Mr. Rajesh, I welcome you and uh, Namaskar. Welcome you to Radio Bulamasti and Shana TV and uh, it's a great day. How are you doing today? So far so good. Thank you for, thanks for having me. It's our pleasure to provide community service and uh, you know if there are people out there that need publicity, we are here for the community for our viewers and our listeners. So we've done uh, a few interviews with some key people um, and trying to see what they can do for our community. And uh, you are um, in the Surrey Cloverdale riding and I know that uh, Bulamasti Radio has quite a few followers, uh, quite a lot of followers from the Surrey Cloverdale riding for various reasons and uh, so let's hear a little bit more about you let's right. tell people who Mr. Jayaprakash is and uh, uh, why would we vote for Mr. Jayaprakash, uh, Rajesh Jayaprakash who is running in the federal election that is coming up um, October September Monday Monday Monday. Monday is the final date. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, there you go. So why should we vote for Mr. Rajesh Jayaprakash? So first of all, a little bit about yourself. Right. NDP candidate for Cloverdale Langley City. I will describe myself as a technologist. I worked in the you know, North American tech sector for more than two decades now. Almost all the time in, in the big corporates, biggest banks, biggest um, you know telecom, com telecom companies in Canada, etc. Two years back, I moved in, uh, started my own uh, small enterprise here, and uh, so far everything going well. And uh, also, you know, I was um, I, I feel driven by purpose, and one of so, the so so here's a question: Why politics? Why did you get into politics? Very good question. Um, <laughs> yeah, so it, it's a very good question actually. I'll tell you why. Um, when you do activism you know you feel that you know you want to do a, a, a few things you go and do it the impact you can make is limited mm -hmm. because the resources you have is limited the exposure you have is limited mm -hmm. but when you go to politics you get you are part of a bigger team mm -hmm. you are you have access to a lot more resources you know mm -hmm. you get to make laws or rules that governs the system so mm -hmm. the the impact you can make is much bigger in politics mm -hmm. and that's why i'm in politics all right okay so can i ask you there's so many different parties uh can i ask you why ndp wow <laughs> very good questions from you i like that <laughs> seriously um well, I was um, relatively, you know, um, not into politics mm -hmm. all, almost all my life, even though my family was in. Um, when I came here and, you know, learning about NDP and or in parties in general, what I heard NDP was, okay, we are going to, you know, take from the rich and give it to the poor. That's kind of the feeling I got. Or, mm -hmm. you know, oh, you know, why do you do that? Oh, fine, you know, you... I didn't understand why it is, but mm -hmm. later on, I understand what they mean, mm -hmm. what they mean. Okay, here's another thing. Take it from the rich and give it to the poor people, right? Mm -hmm. It's great that we try to balance it out. But sometimes people have to work super, super hard 
to earn that extra money to be rich but then i don't feel like it's fair for those people to get penalized mm. because they are working twice as hard three times as mm. hard uh, I, i know it's it's about being fortunate and unfortunate as well you pay extra taxes that's fine but if someone like me for example yeah, if i'm working true. super hard you know uh, to make that extra few dollars why am i getting pen- penalized no uh, th- okay so i was i was not completing the last one <laughs> that's not what it mean meant okay. what it meant is uh, you do you know that you know amazon in canada mm-hmm. amazon canada is practically paying no taxes mm-hmm. right it's a big company mm-hmm. so i have a small business so i am paying taxes yes, yes. amazon canada is not paying taxes uh-huh. google in canada is not paying taxes mm-hmm. they got practically not, no taxes the richest people in in canada mm-hmm. trudeau is trying to put a 15% minimum tax on them this trying still not successful mm-hmm. so the tax rate they are paying is less than what we common people are paying this is what we mean by a fair share that's why ndp so saying you're trying to, to be more fair to people saying if you're making this much then it's fair for you to pay extra taxes on on it yeah at least what we are paying you know the richest people should pay at least what we are paying like the common people are paying because they have so much tax loopholes canada is losing 50 billion dollars each year from corporate tax evasion alone i'm not talking about new taxes mm-hmm, mm-hmm. right whatever they are already supposed to pay uh, tax uh, around 26 billion in tax avoidance 25 billion in tax evasion right these are big numbers mm-hmm. this money alone is sufficient to provide universal pharmacare and child care mm-hmm. right So so there are loopholes that big businesses are able to find and so they're able to get away from the taxes. So that's that's good to hear that yeah. you're addressing that. Uh, and and you know hopefully the uh, it gets balanced out. So people that are just earning the basics don't have to pay as much to cover for them. Yeah. Right? Uh the other thing is uh sorry I didn't mean to jump in there. Yeah. Um so talking a little bit more about yourself and i asked you why ndp right mm-hmm. so what is the platform so the platform is um, of course you know the fairness you know we want to bring in around um, 200 166 dollars in additional revenue in the next 5 years and we are spending around 214 in the next 5 years but you know now we have money and we have to bring in a universal healthcare system that we always piloted we want to bring in a child care mm-hmm. a 10 a day child care um and we want to work with the indigenous communities and you know compensate them fairly and uh, and invest in our infrastructure right we want to uh, work towards a free transit transit mm-hmm, system mm-hmm. by you know uh, infrastructure is something we are uh, actually lacking o- over here okay so explain something to me i've done some more interviews mm. and um, the other party uh, mentioned the same kind of platform so mm-hmm. what's the difference between liberal and ndp then because they brought up 10k a 10 dollar child care mm-hmm. uh, they brought up the sky train they brought up the medical system mm-hmm. you know improving all that so what's the difference between the two yeah. parties now both liberals have been and conservative has been in power like ever since mm-hmm. right when somebody was been in power coming and saying asking for your vote mm-hmm. what you have to ask okay did you say it last time mm-hmm. like 6 years back they said it why didn't you do it mm-hmm. right that it's that's a fair question to mm-hmm. ask about yes. them right so the thing is uh, $10 dollar child child care pharma care all this has been in their plans ever since like you know they have been talking about it like 30 26 years ago mm-hmm. so the, the, they didn't do it it's basically they it was in their plans it is still in their plans and i'm saying it is just going to be in their plans only so it's so what you're trying to say it's all talks and they haven't shown it with action yeah that's absolutely right okay so uh, mr rajesh jay prakash here from the ndp sorry cloverdale riding uh let's 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 get to the community <clears throat> uh why should the community vote for you and not the others well uh, it jack bin singh uh, is a guy who is standing for the people he is ndp is a plat- party or as a philosophy we are doing things we are we are about action we say, we just do what we say 
we would take the example of the hospital here you know the tolls over here mm-hmm. and uh, the the petrol laboratory replacement lot of this infrastructure things that is an ndp i understand it's a different technically different entity but still we do what we say mm-hmm. others did not mm-hmm. so what are some of the things that ndp uh, this is your first time running in uh, the ndp party in the federal in, election, in the federal yes. election. Yeah. so uh, what has ndp done what are some of the things that ndp has done so that we can say that okay they're not just talk like the other parties mm-hmm. they're actually going to do the work yeah um i will answer from two different ndp as as, as a philosophy or as a as a you know uh, movement we they promised the uh, we were never in power in federal right so mm-hmm. we cannot talk about federal mm-hmm. side but in the in the provincial side we promised to uh, remove the tolls we did that we said we will bring in a hospital here right here in cloverdale mm-hmm. we're doing that we said we are going to replace in the patola bridge we are doing that mm-hmm. and all these things we are doing but look at the other side they promised so many things um, you know they said pharma care in la- last time <coughs> they did not do it so far mm-hmm. and even in the 2021 budget they said pharma care again but they put zero dollars towards it right okay. so it's a, it's a plan with zero dollars in it uh-huh. so then walking away from it and so if you look at it you can see a chain of empty promises uh-huh. that's on the party side personally i was the one uh, i when working as a full time engineer i formed a party i contested just because uh, we want to bring the sky train in here uh-huh. i went in front of the the transling open houses we did our own open houses in the parking lot saying the explaining the issues with the lrt we did a lot of research i went and studied in sfu at uh, two months course or something just for it and then so we invested i invested personally invested so much of time to bring that sky sky train over mm-hmm. here and now these pe- people are saying you know trying to take credit for it or saying that okay yeah we wrote a check mm-hmm. but they were not there before 2018 before 2018 or in 2018 there was no single politician or no single party standing up for sky train so, i was the only one okay that's great to hear thank you so you're saying that if elected you will make that sky train uh project come possible it is already possible we will definitely work for it i also want to say that Uh, I have a dream of connecting all the lower mainland cities through a rapid transit mm-hmm. like Mission Maple Ridge Abbotsford Chilliwack all these things I think after the Expo 96 there is no major infrastructure review or strategy as in come at that level and this is a time to look at that mm-hmm. you know that level of things uh, we know that you know today when kids have to go to SFU go to downtown you know their colleges and Buses, stuff yes um the 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 bus buses are rare Absolutely. and uh, and there's people that are coming all the way from Chilliwack they have to come all the way to King George i think is the first sky train station to drop off their kids so they can go, get to their college yeah bus uh, is the sorry yeah no go ahead no buses are the most missing thing actually cloverdale is the only city center in the surrey that is not directly connected to uh, yes. you know mm-hmm. what we want is we want a lot more investment and ndp platform mm-hmm. clearly states that we are going to work with the provincial government and it, it is also the best way to address climate change um, you know invest heavily in public transit mm-hmm. as well as to reduce the price i mean reduce the the fares so that people will leave the cars at home and use more of the the public transit so we've got all this extra cost and that's what i'm worried about there's all there's a cost to everything yes we can say that we will do all these things there's going to be extra cost so where is all this cost going to get paid by yes. the are, are are we as individuals going to pay extra taxes yeah we are not um, we are going to bring in 166 billion dollars in the next 5 years by taxing the corporations and i also adding a wealth tax so there is a costed platform out there it's a fully costed platform and i can guarantee that no uh, there are no new taxes coming from ordinary people or small businesses it is mm-hmm. all coming from uh, the corporations or the wealthiest people and you know we have an itemized list for it and it's a fully costed platform out mm-hmm. there if you go on our website and look at it you know you can see it or mm-hmm. i can if the people want i can email it 
Okay, all right. So, um, do you live in the Surrey Cloverdale area? Yes, I live near uh, 184 and 68. So, you're close to the studio? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, what else is, uh, what about um, um, the medical system? Um, it could be more of a provincial thing, but you know what I hear from um, uh, people around me that you know they're waiting for their surgeries they're mm. waiting to go see a doctor yeah. when you go to the doctors you can only talk about one problem each time you go and for each time you have to wait weeks and weeks to get in to see your family doctor or if you get to the doctor late they've reached their quota so now mm. you have to wait another day or two to get another appointment um, even with phone appointments now you have to wait um, I pay premium insurance mm -hmm. through my work, mm -hmm. but the way the medical system is right now, I have to say, yes, we do have better medical system compared to other countries, but what I pay for medical right now, our medical system absolutely sucks. Yeah, <laughs> and it's a very honest way to put it. That's my opinion. Yeah. That's, no, that's no, what that, I that's go through right. here. And uh, the, 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 we, when, when, we some, when we compare Canada to other countries, we need to compare it with the, the, you know, the, the developed countries mm -hmm. or G7 countries, mm -hmm. right? Not with you know, India or China, those kind of developing See, I don't, countries. I, I, personally, this is my feedback, my opinion. Mm -hmm. Personally, I really don't care about what other countries are doing mm -hmm. right now. I care about my country yeah. and I care about my community. I care about my people mm -hmm. and I care about myself because I'm the one that's working hard long hours. Mm -hmm. and I'm the one that's paying that insurance bill yeah. I am the one that's paying that insurance premium yeah. so the country I live in if I'm paying for it I want to be able to go see the doctor when I have to yeah see so NDP stance is that it, there has to be a free publicly funded healthcare system which includes everything not just you know the the doctor visits and hospital mm -hmm. but also the pharma care the dental care mm -hmm. uh, all all aspects of healthcare, right? And this is something NDP has championed like for 26 years. Both conservative and um, um, liberals have this piecemeal approach, and that's mm -hmm. exactly the problem that you are uh, that, that you are mm -hmm. facing. There, you know, that portion is covered, but this other is co not mm -hmm. covered, mm -hmm. and you know, all these other issues. So we are committed to implementing a universal publicly funded healthcare system. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's it. I mean, uh, this pandemic is a very, very good example. And uh, you see nurses, yep. you know, there's a shortage of them. And, and the poor nurses are working so many long hours, yep. not even having a break. They don't even have time to spend with their family. They don't even have time to take care of themselves, yep. you know. So, so what is our government doing to provide uh, better health care systems? Yes, we are paying them extra few dollars. Yep. But money is not always everything, yep. you know. What about the time that they have lost with their children, with their family? Well, end of this, you know, if you if you trace all these things, what is the root cause? The root cause is that we don't have investment, right? Mm -hmm. We cannot recruit more people. Mm -hmm. We cannot put more people. We cannot pay them better, mm -hmm. right? That is the fundamental issue. So, like, we do just the the money is not there. So, mm -hmm. where is the money? As I was mentioning, we're losing so much around fifty billion dollars. This is parliamentary budget office and CRA's numbers, not mm -hmm. my numbers. So we are losing that much money on big corporation, giving this big corporation that much discounts and things like that. And the wealthiest people, they are using the tap loophole. We may think that this is a little num num few number of people, but the numbers are very big, mm -hmm. right? So we need to tax them fairly. We are not extorting them. We don't dislike them. Mm -hmm. We just mm -hmm. ask them to be a, the the. the Play by the rules and mm -hmm, pay the fair mm -hmm. share. Take that and invest in these kind of social services more, mm -hmm. so that we can invest heavily in infrastructure, invest heavily in healthcare and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. This is what NDP is proposing. Okay, so um, that's NDP's platform. What is um, your goal and objective if you are um, elected, as um, you know, in the Cloverdale riding? Yeah. Definitely support all the you know NDP uh, platforms and commitment I mentioned so far. But one of the immediate things I believe Cloverdale is lacking is that transit connectivity. Definitely, you know, immediately yes. more buses. Mm -hmm. uh, so whatever I can do to you know, I, of course I understand you know we need to work with the provincial, municipal, and mayors council those kind of things. But end of the day, uh, connectivity is a major thing. I know homelessness and, and mental health related issue is mm -hmm. uh, and affecting the downtown Cloverdale mm -hmm. area. 
you know that that's another thing and uh, again the same is true mm-hmm. with the langley downtown area i have noticed uh, living here for many years now mm. i have noticed that the homeless situation is getting worse yeah because a few years ago i didn't see that many people on the streets yeah i see more and more every day yeah. and um, the other thing is um, uh, the crime rate mm. it, oh, what is your take on that and how are you going to help with that because i hate to see mm. i hate to see that there's police involved after after the fact mm. what's being done mm. or what will you do to avoid uh someone's child or someone's kid or, or someone getting killed what will you do with this gun violence this gang violence that's going on yeah see <coughs> gun violence and gang violence the important uh, the, what is missing so far is a proactive approach to to you know crime control or you know it we always the push is okay hire more police hire mm-hmm. more police and mm-hmm. you know things like that and police accountability is another issue but you know let me talk about the gang thing so ndp's approach is we need proactive investment we need to uh, fund projects that keeps a students and, and kids away from gangs that's where the money should be spent and that's where we will spend our spend the money it there is there, there is another aspect is you know we need to give better protection as well as you need to make sure you know there is an accountability on the side of police as rcmp and the, we have here a lot of um, you know issues related to that um uh, racism and stuff like that but you know we will do a complete review of the the, the rcmp mm-hmm. uh, system and will we'll, uh, definitely take action on that and one of the personally i believe uh, they should have cameras i think we you know we need to use technology one of the you know, almost in almost if since i have a technology background one of the way we can save money make things more efficiently is using higher higher use of technology like mm-hmm. why can't we have a camera many uh, people are using it why can't we have a language converter for police you know you have seen many issues like you know people who have been mental health issues they were speaking a different language mm-hmm. police didn't, didn't understand mm-hmm. what they are saying and then it ended up in you know very badly so so what's this i i like this uh, you know mm. out of the box thinking that you're coming up with uh what's this camera idea that you uh, you've got oh, it's a uh, body uh, cam your... that okay, you know whenever they are in service when they are I doing see. a traffic stop or talking to a woman they have to wear the camera they are on they are on they are on duty they are on duty and they are on duty it's there so there is a record they are under surveillance yeah okay all right well that's a good idea yeah oh, it's it's being implemented i mean so in in practice in many developed countries mm-hmm. That's good to know. Okay. Well, thank you and this is Mr. Rajesh Jayaprakash from NDP uh Surrey Cloverdale riding uh running in the federal election and election date is September the 20th. That's the final date. So do vote and do vote for who you feel uh would be the right candidate. We have done some interviews of other candidates as well. And I think you are the first one in the Surrey Cloverdale riding. Oh, all right. Thank so, you. <laughs> so I, what I will ask is do the right thing. I always say doing the right now thing every 4 years doesn't make it the right thing. Mm-hmm. So you may get tempted. You know you have done the right now things in the past. So don't do the right now things and there is always the the, the play the liberals always play is that ah oh, you know ndp may not win so you vote for us right so, but we have tried that four years back two years back again for four years back and even but you tried the conservatives you don't see any changes so if you don't see action on housing if you don't see action on transportation if you don't see action on climate change which is the most pressing things i will say the priority one then by ndp so housing and climate change like the two different topics yeah so what's your plan for housing and we know we all know we all feel it yeah uh, <laughs> taxes go up um houses uh, house prices are going up and i know i heard it from liberals as well mm-hmm. that they're gonna do certain stuff to take care of this housing uh, uh boom that they've got um what is your plan on that yeah the first question is why didn't they they were in power or they are in power mm-hmm. they were in power for 6 years why didn't they do it already the pr- housing prices increased 300000 on an average under their watch and they didn't do it not mm-hmm. anything now they're saying oh you yeah, maybe you know you have to vote for us and so now you will do it right mm-hmm. that's the first question second okay now from ndp side we will do 500000 affordable housing unit affordable housing units um 
uh, immediately we will we are willing to mobilize the federal resources like the federal land etc for co-op housing stuff like that um, um, for for um, um, you know making more uh, units available there's a rental subsidy the, uh, the the people who are renting they cannot afford it then there is a five thousand dollars a year um, rental subsidy uh, system that we are push, uh, putting in forward um, for you know deserving families. That's good. And um, the other part was um, uh, the other question I have is on immigration. Yeah. What's your plan? What's your take? And what's your vision on immigration and the refugees? How do you feel about us bringing the refugees into our country? Well. Uh, the NDP's view is, and of course our view is that immigration is helping the country. You know, I personally, I am an immigrant. That's good to hear. <laughs> yeah, immigration, it, it's, you know, you look at who is working hard or hardest and there, there is no, <laughs> there is no you know, question about it. Um, well, I won't say that, but everybody is working, right? Everybody is working hard and uh, stuff like that, but ev that immigrants are, you know, uh, yeah. Well, immigrants do come here and they have to work harder to achieve because we have given up everything when we move over yeah. to a new country, right? So you have to work twice as hard to get settled, yeah. uh, to get started uh, and, and kind of grow. Yeah. Um, so what is NDP's take and how are they going to help the immigration services? Uh, we, uh, we want to increase the, the, the number of immigrants that is coming. Of course, we want to do a little more checks and balances in, in the system. Um, you know, there is, uh, I think, yeah, I think, we you know, I'll, I'll stop it here. We want to increase the number of um, uh, Num num number of um, immigrants as well as you know students i think student, there's a bigger student population that they are not getting the, and you know if you look at actually the numbers in bc the student business is actually bigger than the logging business mm. by, by by in terms of dollar volumes so that and you know you know these are people uh, you know uh, students being away from their homes away from their parents um, you know so we need to in, we want to work for uh, for them you know do things for them and of course you know immigration system need to be streamlined we need a uh, lot more immigrants you know canada is a much richer or uh, i won't say richer but broader land with more natural resources more land mm -hmm. okay and so yeah, the having the skilled immigrants people um, here will only move this uh, country forward so with um, talking about the land etc with climate change Mm -hmm. What is NDP's plan and what is your, more so your plan um, on um, climate change. this climate change? I, that's something, you know, as I, if anybody asks me what is the, the most pressing issue, I will say that is the priority one. You know, that is the only priority. Uh, well, I won't say only, but that is definitely the, the single most important priority. And in, in under liberal watch and even when conservative watch, we missed canada is the only g7 country where the emissions are still rising each year only country only developed country mm -hmm. uh, even after signing all the paris agreement and everything mm -hmm. you know trudeau said they are going to you know plant uh, one billion trees two billion trees one billion trees how many has he planted all these six years zip hmm. right so it, this is where i think you know humanity is at crossroads mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. we, we really have to believe it we are at crossroads we need to do something and this this is one of the biggest problem you know of course conservatives still half of them are not believing it right and uh, liberals they say believe it but they don't do anything about it they just give the empty promises come and back and so, so ndp is the only party will say that we will do uh, an independent climate accountability office independent i would mm -hmm. say right not part of the government to check the the uh, the government's progress towards climate uh, climate progress right there are two uh, institutions one is a climate accountability office and uh, there's um, another independent organization i for just forgot the name but basically we are offering an independent oversight on it mm -hmm. uh, we are also um, Ha um, committing that one point, uh, the Paris Agreement, which is we are going to reduce the emission by 50% by 2030. 
And how how would they do that? Uh, one of the, the major shift that we are offering is immediately ending all the investment in fossil fuels mm -hmm. and then shift that money into the green economy. That way we will trigger one million new green jobs, mm -hmm. right? So mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a shift. It's a complete shift from fossil fuel based uh, industry into a green based industry. For example, take for example, the, the transit system, mm -hmm. right? We want to electrify that as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. So we will, so we have a climate infrastructure bank with this 35 uh, billion investment, which will work towards these things. And there is another 25 billion, um, which is for supporting this transition. And mm -hmm. the people are going to lose jobs and mm -hmm. you know, we want, uh, or you know, there is a huge, there is a training mm -hmm. issue coming. So there is a $25 billion allocation for that. So all these things I'm talking about mm -hmm. is, in, is in that plan. So it's a major shift in the industry that we are going to achieve. And uh, yeah, and we have a costed platform for mm -hmm, it. And mm -hmm. we have shown how the money is going to come in, how the money we are going to get. So everything mm -hmm. we are promising, there is money behind it. Okay. All right. That is uh, Rajesh Jayaprakash. We've heard some uh, promises from NDP. And um, election date is coming up September the 20th. Uh, uh, Rajesh Jayaprakash is in the Surrey Cloverdale riding from the NDP party and uh, living in uh, Canada, U.S. for over two decades. And uh, thank you very much for uh, bringing all those ideas and actions and uh, uh, promises that you have made. And if elected, we would definitely love to see uh, those promises uh, put in action and uh, make a change for our community. I don't live too far away from you. <laughs> <laughs> you can come and knock on my door. I'm to find you, yes. So anyways, um, I'm not saying vote for whoever. You have heard lots from every other party. Uh, Radio Bulamasti is not non-partisan. So after hearing all the words, all the promises, all the actions from all these different parties, make your judgment and vote for the right person. And why would we vote for you? There was a lot of chances for liberals, a lot mm -hmm. of chances for conservatives. Mm -hmm. If you're still talking about housing prices increasing, if you're still talking, oh, there is climate change, nothing has been done, or any of this, okay, if you're still talking about childcare, if you're still talking about pharmacare not there, like who has been in power all mm -hmm. these years. So this is the time to you know, vote for a, a new party, which has not been power, vote for Jagmeet Singh, vote NDP, of course, vote for uh, Rajesh Chair Prakash in Coverdale, Langley City, because this is our chance. This, you know, should try this. It is the time, especially in related uh, to climate change. This is the time. I know people are scared of change. Well, right? it's a good change, they, right? Uh, yeah. So, so uh, we always doubt ourselves. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have what we think is working right now for us. We're surviving. We're getting through, right? <laughs> so, when this new party is gonna be in power? Mm -hmm. The fear is, oh my God, what if we don't have what we have right now? But a lot of times we forget that, you know what, what if we have what we don't have right now? Oh. So I'm not voting for you. That don't <laughs> I'm not saying vote for NDP. I'm just saying that a lot of times us human beings are afraid of a change. Oh. Right? Mm -hmm. So um, NDP is not is a yours. New yeah. NDP is not a new party. They are, no, are they're not new, but yeah. because Liberal is in party right now, yeah. people are like, oh, no, we are OK. Why should we go for a new party? Yeah. Right? Well, if you're changes, OK, the change, question change. is, are you OK? Mm -hmm. Are you? Can everybody afford a home? Mm -hmm. Is Are you doing something about climate change? Mm -hmm. Are seniors getting the care? OK, mm -hmm. like if your pharma care system, you, are, you just complained about the health care oh, system. Oh, I do. Right? Uh, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. But is it OK? I'm complaining <laughs> about all the things that I brought up, and I'll keep complaining till I see someone make the change. Yes. Uh, so. I think, you know, we, we I can look at uh, all the, the history of NDP. I think mm -hmm. you can. It's, it's a party you can trust. Her. All right, we'll see. Uh, once again, thank you very much for taking <laughs> the time out and I wish you all the best. I've heard great words from you, you know, but uh, I, I like to see people walk the talk and make the changes. So, and we won't know till we give you the vote. So uh, Rajesh, uh, thank you very much for your time and uh, thanks for everything you do for the community. And uh, election day is coming up. I wish you nothing but success and all the best. Thank you, and thank you all the all the readers who have been listening to us so far.
Thank you. Uh, stay tuned to RadioBulamasti.com and ShanaTV.com as well. VK, VK, VK Auto Detailing. Leaving your vehicle spotless and shiny. VK Auto Detailing specializes in interior and exterior hand wash and dry, vacuum and shampoo, cloth or leather seats, door panels, console compartments, dashboards, mats, cleaning your vehicle inside out, floor to the roof. Don't delay. Call VK Auto Detailing now. Contracts also available for dealerships or individual. Contact Vinita Reddy at 604-300-5095 or Bobby at 604-300-7204. VK Auto Detailing, servicing clients for many years in the Lower Mainland, British Columbia. For your latest hit music, all hits, current affairs and Bollywood connection, community announcement, live entertainment, motivational speaker and religious program, please tune in to Bula Masti radio station. To advertise your business, please contact Aisha at 604-427-0291. Your one and only Bula Masti radio station. Hello, this is Mandeep with Bula Kava Distributors. We import fresh kava from Fiji to Canada and distribute it to your doorstep anywhere in the world, Canada, internationally. From 112 gram bags, 224 gram bags to 448 gram bags. And new merchandise coming as well too. Tanwa, Sulus, Billows, everything Fiji. For all your fresh kava needs, visit bulakava.ca. Bulakava.ca. Kya aap ghar kharidna ya bechna chate hain? या जानना चाहते हैं कि ये सही समय है घर खरीदना या बेचना इसके लिए आप सिटी टू सिटी रियल्टा प्रणीता चंद को कॉल कर सकते हैं फोन 7788724708 पर कस्टमर कर्टिसी के लिए प्रणीता चंद आपके लीगल फीस भी पे करेगी फॉर ट्रस्टेड नेम इन बाइंग एंड सेलिंग योर प्रॉपर्टी कॉल प्रणीता चंद टॉप रियल्टा विद एक्सपीरियंस Miss Crystal and Amazing Jewelry में यहाँ पर क्यों? क्योंकि वहाँ पर आपको ऐसी jewelry, gemstones और crystals मिलेंगे जो आपकी किस्मत चमका देगी। ये हुई ना बात। Positive energy, abundance, para health और fast healing gemstones और crystals के लिए अब सरी में ही। देर किस बात की है? चलो अभी चलते हैं। Miss Crystal and Amazing Jewelry 12070888 Avenue Surrey। Phone number 6047880807 Website visit kijiye nisha.com. Niche crystals and amazing jewelry. A message from Fraser Health. Getting vaccinated is the best protection from COVID-19 and it is free. You can get a vaccine at any clinic without an appointment. Find a location at fraserhealth.ca slash VAX. You can get your second dose four weeks after your first dose. You do not need to be a citizen, permanent resident, or have a valid visa. You do not need a personal health number, medical care card, or medical insurance. Your information will not impact your status or immigration process in Canada. Call one 838 2323 for more information. Translators are available. This is a message from Fraser Health. हर संडे शाम 6 से लेकर 8 बजे तक अमित शर्मा शो रेडियो बोला मस्ती पर द फ्यूजन स्टेशन वैंकूवर से आपके लिए हम लेकर आएंगे नए पुराने गीत जोक्स फिजी के कुछ पुरानी बातें तो याद रखना हर संडे को शाम 6 से 8 बजे तक साथ-साथ में हंसेंगे हंसाएंगे और साथ में याद रखना हम आपको रुलाएंगे भी सुनना ना भूलिए अमित शर्मा शो रेडियो बोला मस्ती पर द वन एंड ओनली फ्यूजन स्टेशन वैंकूवर से अमित शर्मा शो